Salamania is about a court case in 1918 in Great Britain in which a dancer named Maud Allen, who was originally from San Francisco, sued a British MP named Noel Pemberton Billing because he had accused her in his newspaper of being a German sympathizer, a sadist, and a lesbian, as evidenced by the fact that she agreed to participate in a production of Oscar Wilde's play Salome. He publicly libeled high-level officials in an attempt to get them to sue him. He was a British MP on a mission to stop the Germans from infiltrating his country via homosexuality. I don't think she had any idea what Noel Pemberton Billing was planning. I think she just feels very righteous in the need to um, stop this and to stop him and to disgrace him on a public level. Hume Williams is the lawyer who represents Maud Allen in the play. Hume Williams is kind of a voice of reason in this time of kind of uh, insanity and madness. She still has the belief that art and beauty is important to the world. I think she battles then with the people who um, really want self to be second and for country to be first. Maud Allen is not a perfect hero by any means. She's a very complicated character who was full of contradictions. That to me is much more interesting than if she were just some kind of hero. What I realized is to tell the story of Maud Allen and that trial, it would be impossible to do it without also telling the story of that time period and of the end of World War I and, and the kind of hysteria that was in the air. Mark Jackson has written these characters that have a lot of parallels with each other. The same actors are playing characters that have parallels. Mark has been working with us very closely to really make each character specific. With some of us, I think it's something about a physicality change, and maybe with some of us it's about changing a voice or, in many cases, an accent. The actors often don't leave the stage, and if they do, it's very quick, and so they needed places to grab props quickly, and there's all sorts of little hiding places and trap doors and surprising ways that things enter and exit this world, which was kind of cool and totally necessary. <laughs> it's a crazy story. It's amazing the things that people were willing to say out loud in court and on the public record. And I always say the funniest lines in the play came from the transcripts of what people actually said. I really enjoy working with Mark as a director. He's very specific in what he is looking to see. When I write a play and direct a play, I don't come in with an agenda of this is the thing that I want the audience to take. I feel like that would be presumptuous of me. The situation is so juicy and full of, packed full of of different things that I think there's a lot that can be taken from it and I'll be curious to, to learn what people do take from it. Nothing in the world so red as thy mouth. 